Hey guys, it's Crystal aka Queen BRZ back with another video for you. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try to do more of a vlog style video of um, something that I'm doing today. It's not an install, but it's just a car related uh, errand that I'm going to be running. So I will take you along for that. So stay tuned. Before I go and do that car related errand, Jump Force just came out and of course me being a little anime nerd, I'm going to go pick it up from GameStop and I'm bringing you along with me. Alrighty guys, here it is! So I'm super excited to start playing this. Please let me know down in the comments if you are also an anime nerd and you're going to be playing or if you have already played. Let me know all your secrets, what you think about the game so far, and yeah, that'll be a really cool convo. Can't wait to hear them. Alrighty guys, so I'm out on the road heading to my car related errand, but before I get into what I'm doing today, I just wanted to kind of give an overview of how my first 8-6 cup track day went. It was so incredibly amazing and honestly I couldn't have picked a better um, track day event to go to for my first time with a better group of people. Honestly, I really loved how supportive everybody was. Um, although everybody is competing against each other for times, it honestly didn't feel like a competition at all. Um, everyone is just really supportive of each other and um, have, they're always giving advice on how to improve your times and especially for me, they were just really uh, gentle and nice and understanding that this was my first time and that I was a little bit nervous and they were just so welcoming. I couldn't have picked a better group of people. So aside from that, Speed Ventures and 86 Cup are very big on safety, number one. That was um, the first thing my instructor um, was preaching to me was to point out all like the flag guides because you want to make sure that you know if there is an issue um, out on the track as well as making sure that you have the proper materials to have a safe track day. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to uh, Stewie Sports in Huntington Beach and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find some uh, racing gloves as well as a track suit um, so I can look super cool when I go out to the track next time and be of course super safe. So stay tuned. Another thing I wanted to note guys, um, a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to be doing any more mods to my car in relation to um, like track day events. The only thing that I really see myself doing is getting an oil cooler and maybe some uh, more high performance brake pads. Other than that, the only other mod that I want to do is my driver mod, which is investing in myself, in classes, uh, whether it be going go-karting um, to improve my driving skills. Um, I don't need any more speed than my car has already and I know that um, you can have really amazing times in a slow car as long as you have the skill level um, to get those times and so that's going to be something that I'm looking into if you guys have any more suggestions for me. I'm already kind of looking into stuff myself, um, any classes I can take um, just to improve myself and my driving overall so um, anybody that's been asking, oh what kind of mods? That's the kind of mod I'm going to be investing in myself and then just a few more um, things to help my car and make sure that it does stay safe and last a long time. Another thing I've been looking into was maybe getting Gran Turismo and a racing wheel so that I can practice at home, um, kind of focusing on the line and making sure that um, I hit the line all the time because that was one thing I really struggled with um, at the track day at 8-6 Cup. So if you guys have tried this and you like it, please let me know so it'll convince me to go ahead and get it. Alrighty guys, so we're finally here at Subi Sports, so let's get on in to try some stuff on. Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, so this is my first tracksuit that I'm trying on. It's a size 48 and it's a Puma as you can see. So what do you think? Alrighty guys, so this is Alpine Stars. It's also a 48, but it does fit a little bit differently. Um, the hips are a little bit more snug and it is longer, so I have a lot of extra room down by the legs. Let me know what you think. So aside from um, the length of the legs being a little bit longer than the Puma and the hips being a little bit more snug, I do notice that this one is lighter than the Puma. Um, so those are just some noticeable differences. Embroidery is very heavy and also doesn't breathe very well. Hold it up to you. Okay, I gotta put a head net shot. There we go. <laughs> So this is a Lewis Hamilton suit and it is a trip, very light, it has all the patches and it looks gorgeous. You see the bends there. You see these bends? Wow. This is also very light too. So that gives you an idea. Most people don't get the opportunity to touch a professional driver suit. Yeah. So they have an idea of what it should be. It feels so special. What do you guys think? Does red suit me? Has the Ferrari logo right on the back. Alright guys, so just a little treat for you. These are the shoes that Michael Schumacher wore for his last season race. And as you can see, they are amazing. Uh, just lifting them up, they're so light. And take a look. Alrighty guys, so overall I had a really great experience being here at CB Sports and I did learn a lot of very valuable information. Um, the most important thing that I learned is that you shouldn't go cheap when it comes to your safety. Um, other than that, I did leave with some Puma gloves today in the color white, so I am planning on eventually getting a tracksuit and I will keep you posted on when I do that. But yeah, we're starting off with some gloves, so pretty cool. That's all I have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on my little day off. And yeah, so until next time, guys, Queen BRZ out. Alrighty, guys, so before I go, I do have one more thing um, that I wanted to mention. So I know I said I wasn't gonna be doing anything else major to the BRZ, but I do have one more thing. So these are um, front adjustable prototype end links and they are by Eibach, as you can see here. So um, let me know if you want me to do an install video on these, but it's definitely gonna give me um, a lot better uh, ride and adjustability since my car is lowered. So yeah, I will keep you posted, but do let me know in the comments if you wanna see an install video. If not, I will go out and install them and then just do a review. I fall in love too easily. I'd fall in love too fast